Hey, my boobs and babes, welcome to my channel. I am Sarah, aka Lady Diva. All of my information will be listed in the description box. I forgot to do my introduction, so if you're new to my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see how I made, created this beautiful, bright colored um, cut crease, stay tuned to the next video. Bye. All right, my base color is called Brasilia and it's from Juvia's Place palette. I'm gonna put that all over my lid and then I'm gonna go over it with Chalk Dust setting powder to hold it in place. Next, I'm going into my Warrior's Place palette, also from Juvia's Place. A lot of products are gonna be coming from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to start building my transition color. So I'm gonna start with the lightest brown in the Warrior palette, and then work my way up to the darkest shade in the Warrior palette. And I go back between these two colors until they're blended nicely. All right, so you're going to keep going back and forth. What's going on right now is not swiping, but it's patting. Patting makes the color stand out or make it pop more. So you pat back and forth between your dark brown and your light brown until the colors are seamless. Next, I'm going into the Nubia 2 palette by Juvia's Place with the darkest burgundy shade. So that looks like a darker brown, but it's not. It's actually burgundy. And I use that transition color to go a little bit higher. And then on top of that, I'm using a warm orange color to go back and forth between the burgundy color until they're nicely well synced together. And after that, I'm gonna do the same method between the orange and the yellow shade that I'm gonna pop underneath my brow. Now this yellow shade is coming from the box of crayons eyeshadow palette. And I love this yellow because it's really bright and it looks really great against my skin. So I'm trying not to lose any of the shades. So from time to time, I go back with the orange, I go back with the burgundy color, I go back with the dark brown, just so that I keep the colors of all of them. Now I'm cleaning off my lid with makeup remover. I want to have a clean surface when I do my cut crease. So to keep my concealer from looking muggy, I clean off the surface with makeup remover and that's what I'm doing here. I also go back in with a deep dark brown so that I can keep the transition of colors from yellow to orange to burgundy to dark brown. Now I'm going in with my Revolution Concealer in the shade C2. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know I want you to take your time doing this step. Although it goes super, super fast in the video, please take your time. This is the most important part of the look. You have to cut your crease and it has to look nicely rounded. So take your time. I'm going also I'm also going back into my Warrior Oops 2 palette. I just dropped something you guys. My Warrior 2 palette in the shade orange and that shimmery orange and then I go in with a shimmery yellow shade on top of it. And then I have this red shade from the box of crayons because that color is just so bright. And then I go in with the burgundy color. Although it doesn't look like two different colors, it's like red and then it's burgundy. And then I go back into the Warrior palette and I pop that brown on the corner because I want it to look really deep, dark brown-ish black with, you know, the sultry look. That's what I'm going for. So, yeah. You guys, I was so proud of myself with this smoky, smoky, sultry eye. Like, you see me do my happy dance. I was really proud of myself. You do these steps into your heart's desire. You go back over them and you make sure that they're nicely blended until you can't blend anymore. And when I was done blending all of the shades, it just came out right now. I'm buffing the colors because I don't want any harsh lines anywhere. So I'm going back to make sure that the colors are popping and that I don't have any dark, harsh lines. And right now, 
I'm going to um, do some eyeliner business and outline my eye. Um, my hand is not steady, so I don't use the liquid eyeliner, but the, to people who do use it, to each its own, there's nothing wrong with it. But I like the creamy eyeliner concealer, and I use the eyeliner concealer from, um, what's it called? Music Flower. It's going to be listed down below, but it's a deep, dark black color. And I love it because I can take my time with it and I can go over my eye like a Crayola. Like I don't have to worry about damaging the rest of my makeup because it's so creamy and it's so smooth and it just goes on so seamlessly. I love this stuff. All right, I wanted to use some glitter on my lid this time. I wanted to get all jazzy, so that's what I'm doing here applying some orange glitter across the lid. And it was so cute, you guys. It was so freaking cute. But yes, that's what I did. I'm back with the Juvia's Place palette. Well, the Juvia's Place um, sticks, the concealer sticks. And I'm going in with Benin, Zambia, and Tunisia. All different countries from Africa, which I love this palette for. And then on top, I use NARS. Macro Sheer Glow. And I mix all of those shades together on my face. Because my skin is just like patches of brown, dark browns, light browns. And then for my highlight color, I use Mauritius and Brasilia. Yeah. Oh, I think that's Martania. Martania and Brasilia for my highlighter color. So one is just like light and then one is light light. So I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two on my face, but I use both of them. And I do this type of look where, you know, I get casket ready, as my mom would say. You out here not getting beat for the gods, because you know I love getting beat for the gods. But she'd be like, so you getting casket ready as something, huh? So that's what I'm doing, per se, my mom, getting casket ready to go nowhere, because I'm sitting in the house per my lonesome, beating my face. Beating my face for the guts. Okay, I'm stopped, y'all. I'm sorry. But um, I was getting cute, cute. And I wasn't going nowhere, so I was feeling some type of way about that. Next, I'm going in with Congo. Congo is this deep, dark chocolate color. Sometimes I use it for a lipstick. Sometimes I use it for a concealer color. You can do a lot of stuff with these concealer sticks. And they are so bomb from Juvia's Place. So you don't need that much when you're using... Um, these concealer sticks so I use just a little bit because this is totally not my color but I wanted to go really deep dark brown on my cheeks on my forehead my nose all of my contour areas I wanted to be real nice and dark chiseled almost and it worked out it was it came together and then I'm going into my y'all saw that palette my anesthetica palette and I use a dark brown on my cheek in the shade soulful no it's bronze in the shade bronze all of this stuff is gonna be listed below you guys and then I go in with soulful on by my nose that's like a lighter brown and then to give my cheeks to bring some warmth back into my cheeks I use a color called Sunita. and it's bomb you guys it is and the rest, you just look. Just watch the magic come to come into form. Just watch it come into form. And you guys know I like my little turquoise blue under my eye. And the rest is history. You know I'm getting. I'm about to get beat face crazy with the chalk dust in the letter. What is it? Y in the letter Y. And sometimes I use the letter N because they both work really well on my skin. And then I get my glitter going with my royalty to my Julia's place yep I'm just Julia's place all out confession 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 if you guys can not already tell I'm a little bit extra with my highlight so this that little part above your lip you don't have to do that that part is for you know the bold and beautiful like you know not saying you're not bold and beautiful if you don't highlight your lip but if you're not extra like me you do not have to do that step but if you want to let your life so shine 
for the world so everybody can see your soul glow you can do that um i'm going in with the crayon case and raven and then i come with color rain in the shade tootsie roll not tootsie roll tootsie yeah um yeah it's called tootsie no it's not it's called y'all it's gonna be down below don't give me the line I, it's gonna be in the description box and there you have it you guys here's my um beautiful kiss by the gods sunshine look and you guys i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye 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 now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.